Hello, it's Colette. Welcome back to my channel for the weekly tarot card for the week commencing Monday the 28th of August 2017. And we've got the Five of Swords that said defeat on it. But here's the point, this card does not need to be about defeat. Amazing Rorig visuals in this card. We've got the like a big wall, like the Berlin Wall. Uh, it's got defeat at the back of it. Um, but yet yeah, the horizon is very, very blue. It says words like loss and afraid on it. And if you zoom in very, very close, you'll see there's a little figure standing on the wall. And this little figure's got a huge amount of light around the body. And it's, this is a, a thing that in Rorig follows through the deck. It's like the, the figures either have no sort of white aura around them or they have a white aura and the white aura tends to be in the cards where there's hope and there's potential but if you look very close it's, it's quite intense that there's a wee person there but yeah it does look as though the berlin walls come down that there's been fighting or there's been defeat in the past and what do you do next and in general the five of swords does kind of pause things for a wee while it pauses us maybe within a battle time or a time where things have been hard and it gives us a pause to reflect on what do we do next do we retreat a wee bit or do we go forward or what's the way to deal with this and um, that's the general tone um, to me it always says don't do things kind of quickly or you know at least think things out very carefully and for those of you that have kind of longer running battles this week could maybe give you a wee bit of time for pause from them and uh, that's the way to look at it but if we look at it in a career um yes it does say defeat but it doesn't necessarily mean defeat it, it could have been you've got a disappointment that in the few weeks that you've passed through that you maybe haven't done well in something or you've wanted to kick yourself for getting something wrong um and this is the card that says well okay that's there what are you going to do about it now um and very much you know Rorig designed this deck before the berlin wall come down but to me there's actually i've seen photos that look remarkably like it um and you know at that time the the sort of east berliners came and some of them went right through the wall and right over to the west some just stayed where they were and some got on the top of the wall and celebrated in the top of the wall but they didn't go any further they just sort of went with how it felt with them for a while and in career um that's maybe what you have to do you might have had a defeat or something not worked out right but this card is about realizing there might be battles ahead so for the moment uh have that time to think about things think where you want to go what you want to do um it also is like saying don't have a defeatist attitude um you know, you've got talents, you might not have done as well as you wanted in something, but hey-ho, you know, um, just get up that wall and keep going, you're fine. Um, and I know in other decks it tends to be a more negative card than that, but most of them have this aspect of, can we pause for a wee while? Can we see what we were meant to go here? If we look at it in health, again, it is very, very similar. It kind of asks you, what are you afraid of? Are you willing to sit with defeatist attitudes saying, well, this is the way I am, it's not going to change, I just have to go on with it? Or are you going to try and look what could be further in the horizon and say, well, you know, I've got this disease or whatever, but there could be things on the horizon that will help. So I'm not going to sit here and not think of, well, this could be better in two years or in five years, or this could be... Um, why don't I try something new? It's sometimes we're on medication and we just keep on that same medication when really something better could have come out, but we're just not aware of it. But if we're defeated in our illnesses, then uh, we can sometimes just stick with what we think we know. This is about why not have a, a time to think about your illnesses and then what you want for the longer term and then go and do it it's not to be defeated in any way 
if we look at love, very similar. Um, you know, it's it's about thinking of the long term. And yes, there might have been things in the relationship that have been negative. There might have been things that, you know, you've had to put behind you. But if you've put behind, if you, as a couple, you've put things behind you and you realise that there is still that light of love between the two of you, then don't be defeated. Aim high. And, and get a confidence going, even just staying where you are for a while. You know, nobody's saying just go and uh, like move house or do this or do that. It's about, you know, understanding that things haven't gone so well, but we're in a new space here. Can we consolidate and then we'll be ready for action? If you're looking for a new partner, it's very similar. You know, some people... Uh, go too quickly into the relationships once they've come out of one sometimes it's a rebound thing and you know if you're not long out of relationship give yourself time give yourself a time to breathe and to pause before you're ready for the next thing because it will serve you well with money it's kind of the same you know a lot of people have maybe drained their bank accounts summer holidays the schools kids have all been bought their stuff and they look at their bank accounts and think oh my god we're defeated there's nothing left but you just start again give yourself some space say um what i tend to do it this year this time of year um and it works very well i say right okay i'm not buying anything else unless it's to put by as a christmas present or it's because something breaks or it needs totally replaced um, because you get to the stage, you know, maybe the autumn or the fall coming in and well, it's too easy to see a nice pair of shoes or I need that pair of boots when you don't. Um, so at this time of year, I, I start to think more frugally. I think, right, OK, the summer's done or it's, it's on its way out and money's been spent and, you know, we're kind of back to that bottom bit. But unless it's an essential uh, unless something, uh, unless I'm truly defeated by something, then it will not um, be replaced. Uh, you know, it won't, I'll not spend money on it, and that's a good way of looking at. You know, particularly the week ahead, ahead. Sorry, if uh, you feel that there's something that um, needs replaced, question yourself: Does it really? Could you make do and mend for a wee while? Is it your ego that wants something new? Is it because you're a wee bit low because summer's ending that you think you need to buy this, that and the next thing? Um, a lot of um, money that we spend is purely emotional. It's not actually for things that we need. Um, if we only bought what we ever needed, then um, probably the economy would ground to a halt. But you know what I mean? This is a time for thinking do I really need that? And if you don't, then don't buy it. And you'll find it bit by bit, you'll get a wee bit behind you again. So um, it's not the best looking card, but defeat is behind the wee person. He does have the light of spirit round about him and the horizon is blue. It just needs to stand there for a wee while and think, right, okay, get my energy back, have a wee pause, and then I'm ready for action again. So keep that thought for the week ahead and you'll get through it fine um if you like the weekly tarot card give me a thumbs up and maybe comment and tell me how your week goes even if it's the week after it and i'll see you next week for the next week's weekly tarot card many blessings now bye